Rishi Sunak, 60,399. Liz Truss, 81,326. Therefore, I give notice that Liz Truss is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. We'll come up on stage. Please warmly welcome our two fantastic candidates, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss. gentlemen to announce the results of our leadership election please welcome our returning officer Sir Graham Brady thank you Andrew uh, good afternoon everybody uh, on the 7th of July the Prime Minister announced his resignation as leader of our party the 1922 committee then organized five ballots over an eight-day period concluding the part of the leadership election for which we have responsibility, and putting forward the candidates to the National Convention and CCHQ for the programme of hustings all over the United Kingdom and the ballot of the membership that is now concluded. I work closely with the board of the party, CCHQ and Civica Electoral Services to ensure that all qualifying members had the opportunity to vote and to ensure that our ballot was secure as well as free and fair. I'd like to thank the 1922 executive, and in particular my fellow officers, Naz Ghani, Will Ragg, Sir Geoffrey Clifton Brown, Bob Blackman and Gary Sandbrook, and our staff for all of their help and support, especially during the administration of the parliamentary rounds of voting. I would like to thank the party board and staff for all their hard work organizing the hustings, which allowed so many members to see the candidates in action, whether in person or online. I'm grateful to CES for the professionalism with which they have dealt with the ballot in distributing, collecting, and counting the votes, both online and by post. Finally, I want to thank all the party members who have taken this responsibility very seriously, all the candidates who put themselves forward for election, and in particular, my colleagues Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss who ran such excellent campaigns in the full glare of media scrutiny and who showed themselves to be outstanding candidates to be the leader of our party. Now the result. I, Sir Graham Brady, the returning officer for the Conservative and Unionist Party leadership election, declare that the total number of eligible voters was 172,437. The turnout in the election was 82.6%. The total number of votes rejected was 654. The total number of valid votes given to each candidate was as follows. Rishi Sunak, 60,399. Liz Truss, 81,326. Therefore, I give notice that Liz Truss is elected as the leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. We'll come up on stage. Thank you, Sir Graham. It's an honour to be elected 
as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. I'd like to thank the 1922 committee, the party chairman, and the Conservative Party for organising one of the longest job interviews in history. Thank you very much. I'd also like to thank my family, my friends, my political colleagues, and all of those who helped on this campaign. I'm incredibly grateful for all of your support. I'd like to pay tribute to my fellow candidates, particularly Rishi Sunak. It's been a hard-fought campaign. I think we have shown the depth and breadth of talent in our Conservative Party. And I also want to thank our outgoing leader, my friend, Boris Johnson. Boris, you got Brexit done. You crushed Jeremy Corbyn. You rolled out the vaccine and you stood up to Vladimir Putin. You were admired from Kiev to Carlisle. <laughs> Friends and colleagues, Thank you for putting your faith in me to lead our great Conservative Party, the greatest political party on earth. I know, I know that our beliefs resonate with the British people. Our beliefs in freedom, in the ability to control your own life, in low taxes, in personal responsibility. And I know that's why people voted for us in such numbers in 2019. And as your party leader, I intend to deliver what we promised those voters right across our great country. During this leadership campaign, I campaigned as a Conservative and I will govern as a Conservative. <laughs> and my friends, we need to show that we will deliver over the next two years. I will deliver a bold plan to cut taxes and grow our economy. I will deliver on the energy crisis, dealing with people's energy bills, but also dealing with the long-term issues we have on energy supply. And I will deliver on the National Health Service. But we all will deliver for, all, for our country. And I will make sure that we use all the fantastic talents of the Conservative Party, our brilliant members of Parliament and peers, our fantastic councillors, our MSs, our MSPs, all of our councillors and activists and members right across our country. Because my friends, I know that we will deliver, we will deliver, and we will deliver. And we, and we, and we will deliver a great victory for the Conservative Party in 2024. Thank you. Thank you.